If the keyword list is done properly and the content is written authoritatively and thoroughly, then we have laid the foundation. If you miss the foundation, if the keyword list is wrong, if the content's wrong, you're screwed from the beginning. Guys, we're using the example of real estate because that's exactly what we're doing, right? You build the real estate, you build the foundation incorrectly, the house is in trouble. I don't care what kind of furnishings you have, it's worthless because the foundation's ruined. So make sure that you guys have the foundation built correctly that's the keyword list that's the content but guys today using the analogy of a house we've talked about the foundation now let's talk about framing the house right? we need to make sure that the structure itself is framed and built the way that we want it to so i'm going to share my screen here in just a minute and we're going to talk about a couple things today first and foremost we're going to talk about the structure of the site what pages i would recommend that you have how many pages that i would recommend that you have what kind of pages etc 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 and then I'll tell you how much content I typically do. So I'm going to use St. George Concrete as an example. Why? Because St. George Concrete is a website that was in a semi-competitive area. There was actually another lead generator that was in this area. I'll even show you right here, right there. Concrete St. George. This guy or gal was in this area before I built this website. And we have not only caught them, but we have passed them. Okay. So here's what I would recommend in terms of framing the home, the pages that should be included on it. And I've got a list of them here and then I'm gonna show you an example from this website. So here's the list of things that I like to include on my sites. Some of you SEO gurus and some of you guys that are really technical may go, well, I don't know about that or you gotta add this. This is what has worked for me again and again and again and again but what do i know i've only made multiple seven figures doing this business so you take it or leave it obviously we got our home page okay think about this like the rooms right master bedroom front room we got our home page we obviously know we got that what i like to do is i like to have my home page and then i like to have three service pages okay at a minimum now there are go at times like you're gonna see with this example i think i did a few more service pages because i was trying to outrank the other guy and three wasn't quite cutting it. I like to, uh, at the at the bare minimum, do the homepage, three service pages. So you look here, we have our homepage, okay? And then we have our three minimum service pages. Now, I'll tell you why I would probably still do three. The only reason we did this again was to outrank that guy. But I would typically in concrete do a concrete driveway, a concrete patio, and maybe concrete sidewalk pages, okay? I don't love concrete crack repair because it's not really something that most of the businesses do. Decorative and stamped concrete a lot of times are a different type of business owner. A lot of times it's more of like an epoxy type of person that does that, like concrete finishing companies. Yes, you can find companies that do both, but a lot of times you're gonna find companies that do the flat work that actually pour the concrete, the companies that come in and refinish it, resurface it, add a, a coat of paint. But guys, I always have the homepage and then I do three service pages. The next thing that I always include is I do an area page. Now, I typically just do, a. it either says area or it, I call it service area. And I know you guys have probably seen websites where they have specific pages for specific areas. So let's say, for example, I'm in St. George, Utah. Let me give you an example you might know more about. Let's say I'm in Nashville. I might call this Nashville Concrete and I might have a service area that said Hendersonville Concrete and a service page that said Clarksville Concrete and a service page that said Lebanon Concrete. I might have those. I personally do not do that because if I'm going to build a service area page, for a specific service, it's because there's traffic in that city. And if there's traffic in that city, then I'm most likely just gonna build a full website dedicated to Hendersonville, for example, to Lebanon, for example, because it, you're, it's gonna be tough to outrank somebody with just a simple page instead of uh, an entire website. And for those that are brand new, here's what I'm talking about. Let me show you guys a map. I know I'm going a little bit for some of you, you're going, well, you lost me. And for some of you, you're going, oh, you're way too basic. To both of you, just, just relax, I'm coming, okay? Um, let me go to the map here. So here's what I mean. So we have Nashville right here, right? And if you look at Nashville, maybe I want to rank, I found out that there's traffic in, let's zoom out a little bit those air. So Hendersonville's up here. You guys can see right there, Hendersonville, Lebanon, right there, that's clear out here. 
Lebanon. Maybe I, I decide instead of that, I do Madison, whatever. I could do that. I could do a page on each of those. I could have a page that was like this. St. George Concrete CO.com forward slash Lebanon dash Tennessee TN. That would be my page for that city. And I would build that page just like I would build the homepage, right? I would make it so it was almost like the homepage, but specifically for Lebanon or for Hendersonville or for Clarksville. That's an option. But my argument is in most cases, if I'm looking at a city like that, if there's enough traffic for me to justify doing any content on that on that city, I'm probably just gonna build a full website called LebanonConcrete.com. And I'm gonna have all the same. I'm gonna have a home page, I'm gonna have the service pages, I'm gonna have an area page, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's my argument. Now, some people, instead of doing three service pages or five service pages, depending on what you wanna do, They'll do a service page, services one, and they'll list all the services on that page with the content, it'll be one page, and they'll do like three area pages. But for me, I always do a separate service page for each service within the niche. So concrete driveway, concrete patio, decorative concrete, each has its own page and its own content dedicated to that service, decorative concrete. It's got photos, et cetera. This one doesn't have photos. Francesca, where are you at? We need photos on this page, but it's ranking. That's how I prefer it. So that is the premise. So we have homepage, minimum of three service pages, and then I always include a contact us page. We, uh, yeah, we also have one area slash service area page. And then I do a contact us page. I do now just you guys, you can write this down. You can copy me. This is what works. I personally, our standard is that on our home pages, at a minimum, we do 1500 words of content at a minimum. Let me repeat that. Home page minimum 1500 words of content. All of our other pages, minimum 750 words to 1000 words of content every other page, except the contact us page, which we don't even index if I'm not mistaken. I don't think we index these anymore. Our contact us page is literally our quote form. We have it on the site to show Google we have a way to contact us but we don't even, well, we, we do index it, I lied to you. We do index it, but we don't put any content on it. That's it, guys. I ain't building mansions over here with my digital real estate, dude. I ain't building Tiger Woods next house. I'm not. I am building subsidized housing. I am building trailer parks that produce a lot of money. I'm building track homes that I know how to build. I know exactly what finishes they need. I know exactly where the sink needs to go. I know what I'm building and I can build them quick and people know what they're getting and it's got predictable results. That's it, guys. Now, I also include a terms of service page and I also include a privacy policy page that I have links for at the bottom right here but I do not index those. So those are non-indexed. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, that means that you can get to them from the website, but Google isn't going to go and have them show up in the search results because they're hidden from search engines. They're not indexed, okay? They're non-indexed pages. They're just a way to show Google, hey, we are a legitimate company. We're playing ball, we're above board. We have the contact us page. We have the privacy policy. We have the terms of service, but you're not gonna be able to search St. George Concrete Privacy privacy policy and it's gonna pop up because it's not indexed. That's it guys, super, super simple. That is all that you need to worry about is those pages. Homepage, either three service pages or three area pages. I would recommend three service pages and in some cases five if you have to have it. An area, service area page, a contact us page, a terms of service, a privacy policy page. That's it.